Hello and welcome back to the channel. I am John with the technical support team. In today's video, I want to share with you how to identify our PowerMaster pump assemblies. These units end up in many harsh environments which may render identifying marks such as the label unreadable. In these situations, here's what you will need to identify your unit. These units are sold in two parts, the air motor and the pump tube. These assembled create the pump assembly. You would need to identify both in order to obtain parts breakdowns, repair kits, along with pumping pressure ratio and volume. Let's start by identifying the pump series. Our PowerMaster pump tubes are broken down into two series, the 1900 series and the 2000 series. This is easily distinguishable by the design of the air motor mounting flange and the air motor attached. The 1900 series flange is rectangular in shape with this style air motor attached, while the 2000 series mounting flanges are square with this style air motor attached. To identify the air motor when no label is found, measure across the cylinder to identify the size. It will be a rough measurement as the units are identified by the diameter of the internal piston. This one is a bit over 4 inches which makes it our 4 and a quarter inch air motor. Additionally, some air motors used in the 2000 series pump assemblies may have an air brake attached to them. Make sure to identify if you have a standard or an air brake equipped motor as the part numbers are different. Next, let's identify the pump tube. There are three identifiers to find. First, determine the pump tube type. Is it a ball type for dispensing oil or a shovel foot type for dispensing greases or viscous materials? Second, determine container size unit is mounted to by taking the measurement from the bottom of the tube to the underside lip of the outlet body. Third, find the identification letter that is stamped on the gland nut. This may not be possible if worn off or a special seal and gland nut was used for a very specific application. In this case, measure the diameter of the plunger rod that connects to the air motor piston rod. Bonus content, look for a four letter stamping on the housing or label. This is a date code marking which follows the code structure Merchants X, with the numbering starting with one and ending at zero. The first two letters indicate month of manufacture, the second two letters indicate year of manufacture. With these measurements and features noted, follow the link in the description to a file created to assist with identifying your PowerMaster pumping unit. Using my example here, I measured the diameter of the air motor cylinder at roughly four and a quarter inches. This is a standard design air motor, no air brake attached, so this is identified as our air motor model 84804. The pump tube has a cage at the inlet, which is a feature of shovel foot style pumps. If the plunger rod is in the down position, the shovel will be visible. Measure the tube assembly at 34 inches long, which makes this a 400 pound designated unit, 55 gallon for ball type pumps dispensing oil. Lastly, since mine is visible, there is an F stamped on the gland nut. Using all these measurements and visible markings and consulting the identification sheet, we can determine the pump tube is a model 84995. When you combine the 84804 and the 84995 pump tube, this creates the model 2010 pump assembly. With the unit identified, we can now obtain manuals for parts and look up pressure ratio and volume specifications in order to check to see if this is a good fit for your application. Hope this helps you identify your unit. If you have any questions about the topic shown today, please contact our technical support staff or your local area representative for assistance. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Shh.